Every four computers now have primary control of critical vehicle function. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody and welcome back to another wonderful day here in Mission Control. It's a nice, uh, it's a fairly nice day outside it looks. Hope it's nice wherever you are even though you're stuck inside and dealing with the lockdown that we're all going through here. Uh, but it is a lovely day here in Denver, Colorado for Mission Control. Uh, so uh, today we are going to talk about set list and if we have time I think I'm going to throw in audio triggers since we didn't really have a bunch of time on it yesterday and I wasn't set up for it, uh, but today I am set up to do auto tr audio triggering. Uh, you know, I only have so many computers and so many cables here, so uh, only so many things I can have hooked up at once. Uh, so, with that, let's go ahead and uh, get started and talk about set list. Uh, set list is a window which uses a which allows you to create groups of playback pages in the style of a set list for a show. Uh, it can be anything from an arena show to a local variety show. It is not reserved simply for large scale tours. It is designed to help the users arrange their show and add notes to sections of it. <laughs> I just read Sam's comment. Uh, that might actually happen, Sam. You never know. Uh, creating a set list. To make a set list, uh, you first open set list window and from open workspace window. Uh, to add a new set list, press the plus list button. Uh, and down the top right of the window, you will then have, be prompted to create one from the following options. Empty will create an empty set list window. Pages will create will create one from your existing page information. Build will allow you to choose tracks from existing information to build the show manually. I select the empty option and now choose uh, the page for your first track to add uh, this track. This track, plus the plus back button at the bottom of the screen, enter your name. Da, da, da. We're going to do all that here in a moment. I'm tired of reading it. Let's see what our next uh, slide is. If I hit the correct buttons. And actually, let's uh, do before we uh, move on into editing it. So we're going to switch over to our... We were going to switch over to it, and suddenly it's not working. Ha-ha! All right. So let's give you one second to figure out what the heck's going on over here. Um, apparently NDI is not running. I thought it was. So one moment, sorry. I guess that counts as a drink already, doesn't it? If I switch and if I switch to the right screen and it doesn't work, is that a drink? Let's see if we've got it now. Hey, there we go. Uh, I thought I had it running, and apparently it wasn't. So uh, first thing we do is we're going to uh, open workspace window and find set list. So we can just uh, type in set and have it start narrowing down for us and then we can find uh, set list right there. And it'll open up, I'll go ahead and make it a little larger so we can see it a little bit better for right now. And uh, <laughs> a shot, is that what it is? If India is not on, we, we do shots, I think that's fair. Uh, See so here we got our set list window. Uh, we got our plus set list button up here in the top right. We've got notes, workspaces, and macros. Uh, we can add workspaces, add macros, uh, all tracks, live tracks, park tracks, and our plus track button. Uh, and uh, in your context menu area, remember that on all of the consoles, that's going to be just the left with Fosky's B, C, and D here underneath the uh, prompt area, usually to be right here. And on the uh, Titan 1, Titan Go, and Sapphire, it's going to be on the four lines button. In our context menu, we've got edit track, new list, edit note, park track, and uh, page mode normal and page mode set list, both of which we'll talk about uh, in this part. So, uh, first thing we want to do is go ahead and hit our plus list button to start a new list. Uh, and we can do from empty, pages, and build. We're going to do our first one from, uh, we'll do it from pages for our first one. Uh, and then we can have, you can see that it automatically takes my pages that I have playbacks recorded onto and made them as my tracks to start with. If I do, and we're going to do uh, cheat and use the console here, I have a back. If we do plus list, 
and empty, we can give it a name. Uh, we can just call it, uh, oh, we'll call it list one. Close enough. Uh, lit one, apparently. Uh, and then we can start adding our tracks uh, manually if we want. And we'll go ahead and actually we'll do it this way for this one. And we'll show uh, build uh, later. So if we click our plus track button, if we set what page we want to start with, in the case we'll start with uh, page one, we can hit our plus track button. And then we can give it a name. Uh, you know, it's going to be like the name of the song that's going to be on that track. Or maybe if you're working uh, in a house of worship, it could be the, you know, the Sunday ceremony, the Wednesday ceremonies, the, the youth services, whatever, uh, something along those lines. Or it could be a... Uh, uh, you know, maybe these are where all your slow playbacks are for a nightclub, you know, slow songs, fast songs, things like that. I'm going to be lazy and leave, leave it named track one. So just go ahead and hit uh, enter. I'm going to then change to page two, hit the plus track button again. Again, we can give it a name if we wanted to. Uh, change it to three. Plus track three is fine. And we go to four here. We see that I already named page four in my... Uh, playbacks here so it's labeled chases so if I hit uh, the plus track button here again you see that its track name is already chases and I go on to uh, page 5 uh, if I hit the uh, plus track button actually here if I change the name of this right now so if I did set legend page legends and wanted to double this one I'll name it oops not n Really? And of course, my keyboard doesn't want to work right now, all of a sudden. Lovely. So we'll just, uh, never mind that, but if I wanted, if my keyboard wanted to work, uh, here we'll just do it. We'll just set legend, page legends, see if it wants to work. Now it doesn't, so we'll just name it one, two, three. Really? It's not taking any input for its name. Hmm, most interesting. That's strange. Well, we'll just go back and we'll just leave it. Tra we'll just name it track five here. So track five is fine. We'll hit enter, and it'll be labeled uh, track five. So now uh, we can see that if we uh, click on the play button on any of these tracks, it'll take us straight to that page. So I click track one, takes us to one, I click track four, takes us to page four, the chases as I had it named, or the name of the song it would actually be, or whatever I wanted it to be. And I can just skip around it like this and see that it changes the pages for me. So uh, with that, I can also do, uh, I can also do if I hit my, a four lines button or in my prompt area again just left with soft keys b and c on all the other consoles and change it to page mode set list well now note that if i try to use my page up and down buttons uh, it only goes to those five pages and nothing else so we can go up and down here uh as we want and see that just those uh five tracks and we can't get we can't quote unquote can't get to any of our other uh, pages. That's so that it narrows it down to just what's on our set list. So uh, let's say that uh, you know we just got done playing here in Denver, and this was our set list, and we get to uh, good old Albuquerque, and we decide that we're not going to play uh, track three in Albuquerque. We can simply go in our context menu area, get with, with track three selected, and then hit park track. So now if we use our page up and downs, we see that track three now get skipped like it wasn't there. So it'll, we just took that out of our list for saying we're not going to play that tonight. But then we get to uh, Dallas after playing Albuquerque and we decided that uh, track three, uh, we want to play it again. We can simply select it in our context menu area, change it back to unparked track. And now it is it there again. So if we go up and down through our tracks, we can see that track three exists again. If we uh, say we get done in Dallas and we're heading on over to New Orleans and uh, in New Orleans, we don't want to play uh, track one. We want to play uh, chases after track one. So we can use our move key, select the chases, and then select the one that we want it before. In this case, we want it before track two. So we click on track two and we see that now chases is before track two. So we go up and down in our, our page numbers here. We see it goes track one, then chases, then track two, three, 
and then five, because obviously four is now in slot two. So you can move stuff around uh, in that way. So I'll pause for a sip and see if you guys have any questions. And if not, we'll keep, keep on keeping on. Yes, I know I had my mic off. Uh, I was doing that on purpose. I was checking to see. I think what it is is I think I found a quirk of Titan. That I didn't know existed before. Take your table off a set list. Hmm. I think after you put something on a set list, it will not let you uh, rename it. Uh, I don't know if that's on purpose or not. I'll have to bring it up to the uh, devs and uh, uh, see if that's supposed to be like that, because that is odd that I can't change it now. Hmm. All right, anyways, let's get back to our set list and uh, talk about it some more here. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on page mode to set list back on. Uh, so we see the other stuff we have in our uh, set list here is uh, notes. Uh, so we can put notes in. Uh, you know, we can just click the AB button here, and then we can type in a note. Uh, you know, we can say that uh, put notes like, you know, spots in, spots in red. Don't forget the uh, solo after third chorus. Whoops, I spelled that completely terribly. We'll make it first instead, since I can spell that word correctly. And uh, then when you're done, you just click the AB. Now we see that we have a, uh, we have some notes for us so we can remember things in this song so we don't always have to remember it in case we uh, just forget what's going on. Or they have a really large catalog and you start uh, getting lost. Uh, we can also go to, we have workspace and macros here. Uh, we have setlist macros, track macros, and workspace. Setlist macros and macros are going to fire every time uh, you uh, change a page. So if we do, I'll do a plus macro here, and we'll do a setlist macro, and we'll do we'll search for release, and we'll do... Uh, I'll just release all release held over. So, with the release held over playbacks, so that if we are on track five here, and we have uh, these looks up, and I will bring up capture. We'll do this way, so you guys can see uh, the full version of capture also. So now, if I change pages to track four, we can see that those other playbacks automatically release. If I have these ones up. And then I go to track two, we're going to see that those release also. So what a set list macro is going to do is release any playbacks that are or it's going to, sorry, a set list macro is going to fire on no matter what page you're changing to. Track macros, however, are only going to work uh, for that particular track. Uh, so let's do a plus macro track. Uh, let's try to find a good one here. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe not release. Let's try. We'll just do it, uh, even though we can do this with workspace, we'll do it with, uh, a macro here with the channel grid window. So now, anytime we go to, we go to track 
two here and we'll fire these up so they're running. And now if we change to uh, track two, we can see that it releases. Oops, maybe you guys could see it didn't have that up so you could see it. Let's do that again. I'll go back here and close this window. See that we have these running. So you guys can see it in capture. If I change uh, back to track two, which is in slot three, but named track two, we can see that it releases those chases as well as brings up our channel grid. But if I was to go to have these ones run in and went to track three, it doesn't, uh, I should have closed it there. Let me go back to it here. We'll do the same thing again. I'll have this one run in. If I close the channel grid window and I change to this other track, you see that all it does is the release. It doesn't open up the channel grid macro because I don't have that uh, is the track macro. I hope that's making sense to everybody. Uh, you notice that was yesterday's show. Uh, you'll want to see that one. Uh, so uh, continuing on in uh, set list here. Um... If we also have the uh, workspace, so say that we uh, create a workspace here, we'll do, uh, let's make this one with like that. And let's do, well, golly, that's too small to work on. There, that's big enough we can actually see. Uh, and we'll do, we'll open up our synergy settings also. We'll make it like this size. So kind of kind of useless there, but you get the idea here. So once we got a, a, a uh, workspace that we like, we can go and hit the, the plus workspace button here, and we can record a workspace. And we're doing this on uh, what track are we doing this on? Ah, oh, track three. Okay, record workspace. So now I'm going to make this full size so we can see everything. We can see on uh, track track number four, slot number four, track three. It says workspace two. So if we change to track five. And we actually, let me make that, uh, I think I'll make this a little larger, larger screen so you guys can see a little bit better. Uh, you can see that uh, if we go to track three now, it goes to that workspace for us. So you have to specifically go to a particular workspace that you want uh, for that song. Say that you know that, you know, uh, you, you like having your window set up for a particular song in a certain way. You could have it go to that directly when you needed it to, or, uh, you know, that particular part of the night or whatever it is that you want to uh, use it for. So uh, that's pretty much everything in uh, set list other than uh, now that you guys have taken this, you've got to remember that if you're done with using page, page mode set list to turn it back off. Uh, if you don't turn it off, uh, you'll be really confused of why you can't get to your other pages in your console. Uh, and actually, one other thing before we uh, pause uh, for some questions, uh, I want to show you guys, uh, we'll just make a second list and we'll do it from build instead. So we've got set list uh, just called number five now. Uh, we can just uh, select our tracks to add. So we can change it to page eight plus track and we can name it. We'll just leave it like that. And we can do that, and it's uh, at that page. That's fine. And it's building on to the one that we already have. You can just change the page and have it uh, add to it. Whoops. Now plus track. You guys get the idea. So that's the way that you can uh, get to it when you're done. You can click the Done button. Uh, and you can have, uh, you can build it onto that one or select the new one and uh, do it that way. So uh, two different ways, three different ways to uh, make a set list. Uh, so let's pause, take a sip and answer any questions. Uh, question we've got is, uh, do I find myself using this feature very often? Uh, very often, no. Uh, I'm usually kind of a more of a busking guy anyway, so I'm just all over the map. Uh, 
If I'm doing a more structured tours type thing, uh, yes, I've used it for that, uh, especially when I've got a band that, uh, and it's just as Sam said, it also kind of depends on the console I'm on uh, to an extent. Uh, but it is nice to be able to have, especially if you've got a low fader number console, to have it, you know, when you go to you go to song, whatever, and have it you know, do all these macros for you, the release me macros and the, uh, you know, for the setlist macros, every time I change the page, it's going to kill those other ones off for me. Um, little things like that can become super, super handy. Uh, in an actual out there in the world show environment, I've seen touring guys use it, and some guys swear up and down by it and think it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Uh, you know, especially being able to, you know, you change the page and all the other, all the held over playbacks release for you. That can be super handy. You could also have a macro that say that uh, every time, so you did that, and it not only released everything on the held overs, but self fired a. Uh, the next playback for you. So it would automatically fire the first playback. Is that maybe it's that in between blues look that we all do, right? I uh, have it automatically fire that for you every time. Uh, Tom asks, uh, how many set lists can you make in a console? Uh, I don't know of an upper limit at all. So um, I'm sure at some point it's going to become messy across the top there. But if uh, we'll slide over and play for a quick moment and see what happens when you keep hitting plus list. We'll just do empty, enter, plus list, empty, enter. I mean, we keep adding it. It just looks like it's just going to keep going across and put a scroll bar on there. I didn't know that it would even do that. Uh, point is probably a whole bunch of them. Looks like Sam said he's made up to 20 uh, so far. So uh, a bunch is how many you can do. I know that's a really uh, helpful number for an answer there, uh, a bunch. But uh, it is the uh, uh, true answer to it. Um Let's see here. Any other questions on uh, set list so far? Uh, no set list is not in the show library for importing uh, from an older show. Set list, I, there's no place to import it with. That I know of, at least. Uh, Jay, uh, I don't know about queue lists uh, being that, but I know we found out by typing it in because you can go to a page uh, without the roller. So it's not just, you're not literally truly actually limited to 60 pages. Uh, we got up to 63,000 and some change but the console wouldn't let us go any higher for page numbers. Uh, I assume that, uh, you know, if you've got 64, 000, 63 some odd thousand times 10, uh, if you've got that many playbacks, I want to see that show file. So, uh, I have someone knocking at my door. I guess they're just going to have to to wait there because, well, we're kind of in the middle of something here, aren't we? Anyhow, uh, so, uh, moving on. Uh, I think that's everything in set list. We don't seem to really have any more... Uh, questions uh, to do with this right now. Uh, so, um, why don't we, I guess we'll go ahead and play a bit with uh, audio triggers. Uh, since I said that uh, we would do that if we had extra time, I had to figure a set list to be kind of slow. Uh, 
<laughs> go we can all drink ah they seem to have left i think they were just uh uh something anyways check my ring doorbell and it didn't look like they were anybody important it wasn't like it was the cops or anything so you know hey screw them from there uh so let's go ahead and uh explore some audio triggering so we'll switch back over to our display here uh, I am using a, uh, whoops, I do not want to close the software. I only want to close the setlist window. Uh, I'm again using a Titan Mobile through the Titan Go interface, uh, just so you guys can see all the buttons I'm hitting. I also have a T2 attached so I can get audio triggering into said uh, uh, Titan Mobile so we can actually do this. So if we do, uh, we can close this bad boy up here. Let's do a more space window. And type in I U D I O audio triggers. We see we're presented with our audio triggers workspace. I'm going to get us to a page of faders. There we are. So we got everything a little bit more ready. Uh, and I'm sending uh, from my Mac uh, from iTunes is what I'll be sending audio to it with. So I'm just going to kind of get this uh, playing in the background. And I'm just using the. Uh, same songs that I've always used because they are uh, license free, so that uh, what you call it doesn't hammer me. Uh, YouTube, that's what it's called. So uh, hopefully you guys can hear that, and it's not too loud. If it is, uh, someone can let me know so I can turn it down uh, if I need to for you guys to be able to hear me clearly. Uh, but we can see that over here. We can see that we're taking that audio in uh, from the uh, T2 into the console. And some gains a little low. I'm going to turn it up so the console sees more of the uh, audio. I feel like it's a little loud, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit because it's bothering me. There we go. Uh, so. Uh, we can see that it was taking in the audio signals in on all of these on these seven bands and we can set it to either we can enable it as a whole or set it to auto level uh, to do the auto leveling itself. Uh, I'm going to leave it in manual control today uh, just so I can control it easily with it being in the background uh, rather than full normal volume. Now with these you can set uh, you can enable different stuff to it. Uh, we'll do We'll actually, so let's go into triggers and we'll give something a, uh, tell it to listen to something. So we'll go to uh, system menu and we'll find triggers. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, add a new one and we'll call it AUDIO, a new mapping. And then we'll go ahead and hit our plus to add a trigger to it. And we're gonna choose item. I'm gonna choose uh, this playback. And our level match will be on, and our action will be set level, and we'll say OK. Our trigger type will be audio, and we're going to set it to band. Let's make this a little smaller, just so you can see the bands a little bit. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and do band six. Enter, and now I'll add that one. And we'll do this one. Uh, now we'll do this one. And we'll do it on band seven hit enter and then add so now if I uh, see I think if we just we can just close the triggers out now and if we enable band six and why are you not doing playing for me oh because I didn't uh, enable it as a whole and we see if I adjust my levels on it Every time it peaks and turns red in the in the uh, thing, it actually plays out on the uh, lights. So if I the farther I bring it down, the more it'll stay on. So I turn their overall master down volume down. We can see that it should. Well, of course, it's not getting low enough just to make me look silly. But if we tilt it, it's just tickling it. We can see it flashes. And of course, then change the track changes. <laughs> Just had it set for that song. We'll do it down here. I don't like this song as much. So let me go back, go over to iTunes here and change the track back to back to this one. 
Or, no, this one. So, uh, you were saying to get going here. We see it fires. Now you do the same thing with this one. And we disable track band six. We see now it's only firing the big zoomy, as I called it. If we adjust its volume, we can get to stay on or not. That's just they're both using different uh, fixtures. You can see that we can adjust it to uh, play around. If you, uh, some of the practices that I don't use this very often in a show, to be straight up honest, because uh, I got asked that earlier. Uh, but what a lot of guys will do is uh, adjust what they're getting from the sound guy to uh, uh, narrow down what it is. So if I go into iTunes here, hopefully I can get to my uh, EQ in iTunes. Um, I don't remember where it is. So if I go in here and I just drop all the high end out of it, or uh, the other way, so it's backwards from what I was thinking. As you guys can also hear that in the uh, in the audio there, we basically dumped everything except for the low end. I'll just set this back to something. Ah, looks like it is that. So our low end is actually the further the upper end bands and our uh, other ones are our these are going to be our low end bands. And these are, or these are our high end bands, these are our low end bands. So actually if I wanted it to be, uh, I'd have to go ahead and change the trigger to get these to work in a different way. So that's kind of the basics on it. Um, it's just adjusting and playing with uh, how you want it to, what frequencies you want to trigger it and where you set it at and uh, how you want it to uh, respond. You know, and enabling and disenabling. I believe there are macros to enable the bands and enable audio uh, in general. If I remember right, there are macros for that already. If not, I'm sure that ones could probably be made uh, knowing uh, Seb and all them. So I'm going to pause for a quick moment here and uh, catch up with any questions. Uh, Jay asks, are the uh, frequency bands adjustable or are they preset to a certain frequency? Uh, they are preset so they cannot be changed. Uh, Tim asks, can you save an edited cue list? Uh, um, what exactly do you mean by uh, save it, Tim? Um, I'm not exactly sure what you mean there. It's going to save, when you edit it, it's going to save uh, whatever you did to it last. I didn't say what the frequency are for each band, because frankly, I don't know. Uh, to be straight up honest, though, it appears from uh, the little experimenting I just did here, the, uh, the ones to the left are the low end, and these are the high end. So uh, there you go. Um, I would find other songs to test this with, but I don't want YouTube to uh, cut the stream because of copyright, thanks to YouTube being a 
pain in the butt like that. Uh, so let's see, uh, any other questions on uh, set list or on audio triggering? Oh, I just found that. Apparently, you can quickly set a trigger uh, from something for a band. So if I click on this one here, and I do uh, audio, ah, it, it opens up to it quickly. So that's a nice little uh, shortcut to add a new uh, trigger to a uh, list. So we'll do uh, we'll do this one, and do a band one, and we'll do add. So now if I start uh, iTunes playing again, and let's see here, we're going to bring up the EQ again, we'll drop everything but our low end. So then I could have that be my uh, strobes, like here is or something like that if I wanted. Uh, kind of interesting to play with. Like I said, I haven't really used it in a show situation. I can never get the audio signal coming from the uh, noise boys the way I want it. Um, but your mileage may vary. And maybe if you're in a club, you can do uh, maybe have an EQ between you and him. So you can EQ it yourself or uh, something along those lines uh, to get it out to what you really uh, want it to be. Uh, would be some of my suggestions. Uh, for that. I think Sam's right. I think it's 50, 200, 800, 1200, 2K, 4K, and 8K with a bit of an ish on all of that. Uh, for some reason, those numbers seem like something I've seen before, too, and I don't remember where. So, uh, any other questions uh, involving set list or audio triggers uh, that anyone has today? Yes, hand silence fell. It gets kind of quiet there. Uh, but uh, anything there, gentlemen, and any lovely ladies we have with us? Looking a bit like you guys are not very inquisitive today. Uh, since we got a little bit of extra time before the uh, hour is up that we try to keep it around, uh, I'll let you guys throw a, uh, couldn't throw a just about anything at me question. As long as it doesn't involve MIDI triggering since I don't have the MIDI board hooked up anymore.
Uh, what am I going to get smashed with uh, with Brad and hopefully Ruben tomorrow? Uh, I will be having my alcoholic beverage of choice, which would be Jameson. So since we don't seem to have any actual other questions, I guess we're just going to go ahead and call this a uh, day for today. Uh, as always, uh, we can go to uh, avalites.com slash online resources and uh, find what's coming up. Uh, avalites.com or avalites.us slash training events at HTML to see uh, what we've got coming up for the uh, for my classes uh, and, and uh, streams. Uh, we're going to cut back on the stream some Uh and I think we've kind of overloaded you guys a little bit, let you guys kind of watch some. And I'll start putting out uh, small short videos uh, that are uh, not live streams, just scripted on particular features and show you everything with that and let you guys uh, watch those. And a little bit more broken up, you know, instead of having a hour long video to find the five minutes in the middle of it you want to watch, it'll be a... You know, a bunch of five-minute videos on just certain uh, parts, you know, five, ten minutes, whatever, you know, whatever it needs to be. But uh, 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 sections, um, that will always, those are going to be put up on the uh, Avalites USA uh, Facebook, which is the one uh, list, or excuse me, Facebook, excuse me, will be the Avalites US YouTube page, which is one listed here, and hopefully we'll soon have a... Uh, custom URL for that, but they have to. You have to wait 30 days for you made the cha for me made the channel, and it's only been uh, like 10 days. So if it'll give me one of those yet, another 20 days, and we can have a custom URL and make that a little easier to find, a little prettier. Uh, but we'll get to that as soon as we can. Uh, so uh, with that, and tomorrow, as we had have discussed, tomorrow is going to be uh, pure Q and A. Uh, we have myself and uh, at least Mr. Brad White, and hopefully uh, Mr. Ruben Lane will be joining us also. Uh, and if we get uh, if we get really crazy with it, maybe we'll drag Sam in with us, and we'll just do a uh, utter silliness of having all of us, and we'll all have a cocktail Friday. So you guys can have a drink and join us, and. We will just have ourselves a regular good old time. Uh, you know, just ask, be ready to ask us some questions. Uh, you know, with Brad being in, you can ask some more sales style related, related questions, particularly for uh, U.S. based customers. Uh, and uh, we can try and uh, uh, otherwise just have ourselves a nice little fun time. So, with that, again, thank you for joining us. And we will hopefully see you guys all tomorrow. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.